Hey guys, uh, so today we we're gonna interview one of the top brokers in the city. His name is Keith Copley. His Instagram is down below. We're gonna ask him for what is his five tips that he recommends new real estate agents and five tips that will become useful when you start in a career in real estate. Um, like always, um, like and subscribe. As we're going to be doing more of these interviews to so one of the more experienced and top brokers in the city. That way you get an insight of how they perform. Keith Kopp is one of the top brokers in the city. You know, he is like Mr. Soho West Village. Oh my God, I forgot. I've always looked up to Keith. When I was young and new in the industry, he was already well known. So we're here today, we're going to ask Keith, you've been in the business how long? 24 years. 24 years. What would be five pieces of advice that you give to somebody that's trying to join into real estate? First thing a broker should learn, well first of all, target a neighborhood that you like. Specialize in a neighborhood. Don't scatter yourself all over the city. Pick a neighborhood. You're in Soho, Tribeca. Usually where you live would be helpful. Because you know the area really well. Yeah. I've just been in Soho for over 25 years, so I've made that my go-to place to sell. And it's worked. But just pick out a neighborhood, and then the next thing you need to learn, which is very important, is know your buildings. Wherever you are, you want to know your buildings. Buyers nowadays are so fast paced. If they ask you something, oh, I want to know what kind of doorman I'm building in Soho, you don't want to say, I don't know. You want to know. So learn your buildings. Whatever neighborhood you specialize in, learn the buildings. Very important. You want to know your buildings. Read the real deal every day. Read the Wall Street Journal, especially on Friday when you have the real estate section. Mansion. Read. Educate yourself. Buyers notice that, buyers like that. As a, someone that just got their license and jumps in, joins a company, what's the one piece of advice you give them? Follow what all the other brokers do. Do whatever firm you're working in, follow the top brokers, see what they're selling, look at their listings, learn their listings. Go into their select souls. Well, this broker specializes in this. What is she doing that she keeps doing this in these four buildings? Then you take notes from that and try to do the same. To find new business, how would you recommend someone finding new business? Well, if you're a new broker, doing a mailing or cold calling or sending an email to a potential seller would be a little difficult because you don't really have a resume built up yet. You have to, like I go to the Equinox Gym in Soho, gold mine of clients full of Wall Street people. Like right now, here we are sitting at St. Ambrose in Soho. This is just full of potential buyers and sellers. Find places in whatever neighborhood you're selling in or specialize in, Mercer Hotel. Go over there at six o'clock at night, gold mine of buyers and sellers, potential. Pick out, pick out places, but the gym is a big one. So be social, dress well. You have to stand out, there's a million brokers. You have to look different from everyone. And you have to, you know, know your, know your inventory. Know Just get told a 10 open houses when you're new. Is that something that you would say? I tell everybody that before COVID, there were hundreds of open houses every Sunday. I personally hosted five open houses. I tell every broker, no matter what price point it is, go to as many open houses on a Sunday as you can. Even if it's by appointment only now, still book the appointment to go go there. Just tell the potential, you know, the broker that you're you have a buyer that you're previewing for. This way you can see how the broker works. Are the lights turned on? Is the music on? How is the stage set? You can see how they negotiate, how they talk. This way you can learn the lobbies of the building, what the common areas look like. Is it dirty? Is it in great condition? This one's sexy. 40 Merce is a hot building. It's got the pool and parking. But if you go to tons of open houses, you can see so much. Best way to learn. So that way in the future when you do have a client, yeah. you know the building. Oh, you 40 walk Mercer's in. got a parking garage. Exactly. 250 Mercer doesn't have that, but it's, actually, 900, it's a younger crowd. 900 a month for a sedan, 1200 for SUV. Over here, 40 Mercer. That's crazy. <laughs> Open houses, but I tell that to everyone, that's very crucial. Go to all of them, all price points, all over the city, just to learn how all the different brokers work. They're all different. The $500,000 broker has a whole different style than the two million, than the six million, the seven million. Uh, is it important to have a mentor when you start? Oh yeah, he was. Yeah. Incredible, incredible. Yeah, it's good to look up to somebody at the beginning. And oh, it gives you a drive. Gives you a drive, yeah. And it gives you the footsteps. And also success leaves clues, yeah. always. And 
and I think they all have the same routine. All the top workers yeah. in the city, they all have the same routine, they're all hungry, they stay consistently hungry. And, uh, they're positive. They're positive and it's just, it's a game, you know, it's just yeah. one I guess it doesn't come about the money at some point, it just comes about... It's a game. You like doing the deals, it's a challenge. You like negotiating the deals, you like winning. Winning, another thing about winning. You want to win, you're dying, so you like to win. And what happens when you win, you gotta do it all over again. Oh yeah. yeah. You're only as good as your last deal. That's it, right?